Here, we're going to look at contingency tables and the use of the count if and count ifs function inside of Excel. On the left side over here, you see that we have a listing of individuals, uh, salary, uh, the department that they're in, and their gender, their associated gender. And we created a series of tables over here. And I'm going to go through them step by step to show you how we created them. So in the first one, we want to basically count the number of people that are male or female in this table. So we set up our little table that says male, female, and account. And in here, we're going to use the count if function. So the count if function will basically count in this range or this array all those values that match a given criteria. And here it's going to be equal to male. So, and it is case sensitive, so we would have to match the capital letters M A L E or then F E M A L E. So this goes from B3 to B35 down here, and you can see that it counts to 14. We do the same thing if we want uh, females, and we get 19. We can do the same thing for department, but this time I did it a little differently. We basically use the range of A3 to A35. I anchored it, which I didn't need to because it's not going to change in this particular one. Uh, at, but this time I'm using G9. I'm actually using a cell reference to determine what I wanted to count. And this is why we have the anchors here, because what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to copy it. And so the anchors will allow us to hold that range constant. So here with department, we see that A3 to A35 is this column over here, which is the departments. And we want to match it to a particular department that we're looking for in this table, which in this case is G9. And you can see we move that down to G10, to G11, and G12. And we get our counts of 13, 10, 6, and 4, respectively. Now let's say we want to do a contingency table, a two-dimensional uh, two, uh, two table, uh, male, female, and the individual departments. So in order to do that, we're going to actually use a different function, a count ifs function. Now the count, if fun the count ifs function will take multiple parameters. So whereas before it might have stopped here with just the two, uh, the range and then the criteria, we can add another range and criteria right after it. So here is our next range and our next criteria. So let's break this down a little bit. So here we want the number of people who are in the finance department and are male. So we say the using count ifs, there's the s because it's going to be multiple, a3 to a35 which corresponds to the department and we want to match it to g17 which is going to be this. Now, the reason we only anchor the G is because we want the column to remain the same. We're going to copy this down, so we need the 17 uh, to change from 17 to 18 to 19 to 20. So when we copy this, you'll see that that becomes G18, G19, and G20. Now, what we also want at the same time is we want to look at the gender. So our next set of criteria is B3 to B35, again anchored. And this time we want to look at H16. Now the H in this case is going to be um, standard here. And we are going to look at H16 as we copy this down. When we copy this over to the right side, the H is uh, going to move and it's now going to become I, which will correspond to the female column. And here we'll end up with the 8, the 5, the 5, and the 1. Again, the first set of criteria for, in this case, the rows, the next set of criteria here for the columns. We can then sum them up just using our uh, sum these pieces, or we can actually just count the total number of fins, the total number of ops, the total number of marketing, the total number of IT, and do the same thing for the total number of male and total number of female. Now what we can do is we can actually create a percentage table to understand the probability of being in any of these departments and that just becomes a simple calculation of dividing the actual cell by the grand total which would be at the bottom corner. So here we get 5 out of 33 which would be roughly 15 percent and then 8 out of 33 which would be 24 percent and so forth until they total 100 percent.